Hey guys, this is Broski Studios here. This is weekly update number one. Now, I'm gonna start um, doing my weekly updates uh, and numbering them. So yeah, that, that should be pretty cool. That's something to look forward to. And uh, I did uh, updates, but they weren't like weekly and they weren't numbered. So this is number one, and here we go. First up, we got a World War II uh, mounted machine gun. Or you could take the mount off and make it just a machine gun. And put this on for the handle, and then make the guy holding it. Um, yes, I am starting World War II. Maybe getting back into Halo, because it's kind of boring for Star Wars and until the new sets come out, which uh, I'm really excited about, and but I am still building mocks for Star Wars, and this is an awesome mock that is WIP, which is work in progress. And yeah, so it's pretty cool. Yep. Um. So here we go, I found this piece, and what it does, say I couldn't get that flat piece out, you have to just stick it there, push it down, can't push it up, and it'll just take that right off. So anyways, like I said before, I'm starting World War II, and the painting station, or table, is no longer going to be used, except for helmets. Ah, oh, bless me. Um, for my clones and maybe other figures. Um, but I think you guys can figure out what I'm trying to say is I'm using decals from now on. And for any of you that want to start using decals, I can send you some, and then you can go order uh, from decalpaper.com. Uh, which is where you're going to get the decal paper. And uh, what is very useful is uh, Lego Boy Fan or Lego Boy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or David. Go search Lego Boy Fan um, if you're just starting decals and he will tell you how to do it. He has a video on how to make uh, customs with water slide decals. Uh, so yeah, he has a tutorial on that, and it's really helpful, and thanks to that, I am now starting my own decals, and just, yeah, decals. And these are on my Brasso torso. If you don't know what Brasso is, it removes printing off Legos. You can see there, it's still on there, but, uh, here we have some right here. And yeah, you can see it's coming off pretty easy. It's not going to damage the minifigure or uh, ruin the plastic. Because some people sand it off, which ruins the plastic and damages the minifigure. And so yeah, these are all my custom clone torsos. And maybe World War II. These are all my World War II. And yeah. So... Oh yeah, this guy over here. Got right there, go right there. So you get three, pretty much three of each, but then like five for black. And then here's my organizing system. You got brown right there, tan, light gray, black, sand green, heads, more yellow parts, white, and dark gray. Now you can see I got a lot of white ones. Got a lot of white parts in there which will be very useful for custom clones. These are a lot. Those are on my white torsos. So. And then, um, my customs, like, let's say fives. I'm going to take off the helmet, take off the body, and then either decal this body, or brasso the paint off and use it as a custom or use it as a regular clone, and then order 
like uh, episode three helmets from Aerialite, or what I should do. I probably will decide later. But anyways, that's probably what I'm gonna do to all my customs. Ah, uh, yeah, the Brasso. That's amazing stuff. Um, so yeah, and I got all my Lego stuff up here. No more in that old storage room. That's kind of crappy. And I'll clean this later. Whatever. Yeah, I'm sick. So wear my pajamas. Uh, over here we got some storage room. Um, yeah. So you got Legos in there. That would be in there. Actually, in there. Then it would go in there. But anyways. It's on the floor. And then you got brown bricks, random sets, random guys, Darth Vader, Hood City is both fed in there, Job of the Hut. And yeah, I'm making my own decals, so and maybe not for uh like clones, but for um, let's see, for, uh, World War Two guys, there it is, my custom minifigure, it looks just perfect, like that, but you guys can't see it, but I can, I can see it just perfectly, and it's really cool, um, I did print it out and measure it, so there it is, it looks really crappy on camera, but it looks a lot better in real life. So yeah, you got Marine. And then these are no these are actually crappy in real life, so these are pretty good. Make my own. Got a printer. This was two hundred dollars. But I got it for one twenty nine. Paid for it with my own money. And yeah. Um you got Falcon over there, garbage, whatever. And then all my sets, as I said before, are up here. And uh, the mock, I'm just going to kind of review it. Um, You got this guy, is dropping off droids. He's just unfolding, but all the other guys are done unfolding. And going after these guys that are dropped, getting dropped off by gunship. And Rex is in there. Cody used to be in that side, not anymore. Oh, uh, well, I will set him up, but I'm going to get another Battle Naboo on my birthday. Another one over here, another one over there. And then, hopefully, that might turn into my work table. Or, I can move that, all that crap, put it in a bucket or something. And then make that my work table, something like that. So then I can move all this and have room to do that. And then you got two identical buildings. Not on the inside, but on the outside. They're constructing guns. Um, I know they have workshops to do that, or like machines, but that'll work. Use your imagination, just like the B-Man 610 said. You got a droid in there. Um, command room, command center, okay. Type thing. And you got my custom admiral. That is. Uh, I don't know. He's messing with the communications. He's kind of defending the command center. Which there will be droids over there. Um, ATRT. None of you commented for directions on that, so. It tells me that you guys don't like it, but. If you want directions for this awesome ATRT. Just comment right now, because I know I have some new viewers. Uh, so anyways, that's pretty much the base. They're running out. They're running out. Uh, yeah. So making my own decals for World War Two at least. And then... Um, yeah. And then applying them with decal paper. And yeah, I recommend getting decal paper. So... I'll see you guys later. Next weekly update, there'll be a lot more customs and stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later.